Hey everybody, welcome back to GWN. I am Noctare, your host. Today we're gonna talk about one last boxer giant attack strategy, and I call this one Big Bart. You take your uh, your standard Jibok, and you add in either one or two camps of Rage Barbarians. Now, the army comp for this can go uh, really either way. You can do two camps of cannon carts, one camp of bombers, and then two camps of boxer giants and one of Rage Barbarians, or two car cannon carts, one bomber, one boxer giant, two rage barbarians. Now, most of the time, it's going to be like this first uh, replay here. I see it uh, with two camps of boxer giants, but for those players who are really good with their rage barbarians, you can run two camps of rage barbarians instead. Now, here we see Dorian. He launches at the corner nearest to the uh, multi mortar and furthest away from the builder hall. He, he clears those uh, outer walls, removes the outer buildings, clears the outer walls, and then basically forms up a line that just runs right on through to the middle of the base. And this is kind of the, the strength of this attack, is that offensive line. And you're going to see it in every one of these replays. I think I got maybe five or six from the guys down at uh, Oz Builders in Australia. So we got lots of great replays. They're all over 5,000 trophies, I believe. Uh, one of them, I believe, was even a max base. So we've got some really good, solid competition here from right before the end of the season. Uh, as with all these attack strategies that use Boxer Giants, the Boxer Giant acts as a tank to keep weaker troops alive. Adding the Rage Barbarians gives you the added benefits of the mass destruction, or mass distraction, I guess it's mass destruction too. And you know, you can clear those outer buildings and divide defenses such that they're firing all over the base. And that's why the strategy works with either two camps of Boxer Giants or Rage Barbarians, you know, two of one, one of the other. Uh, anyone who's particularly adept at using the Rage Barbarians in, in strats like, say, Bombarian or Bart is already going to know how to effectively distract and remove those frontline defenses with the Rage Barbarians. The Boxer Giants kind of take um, a secondary role, soaking up the heavy fire from things like the Giant Cannon or the Mortar. Now, here we got Enos. And what he does, again, he launches at the top, furthest away from the Builder Hall, and this particular design, like I say, guys, friends don't let friends run these box bases because they have an inherent weakness. And you'll see that right here at the top of this base. <clears throat> it's, it's just a weak entry point into the base. And because it's at the top where there's so much space, you have a lot of room to play around with your deployment. So he takes out the external building, susses out any hidden defenses, mines, traps, things like that. Um, he clears the guard post troops and then just unleashes the masses. And as soon as the bombers open up that single outer wall, the attack is pretty much over with. It forms up that offensive line that I'm talking about with the giants continuing to tank and then, of course, the, ba the battle machine going in and tanking. And everything just moves right on up and through the bases. Now, this attack's going to get its strength from the added troop units and army camp that come with Builder Hall 8. At level 16, you get an additional boxer giant and a cannon cart. The extra bomber is nice, but it's really not necessary for these attacks to be successful. I mean, once that outer wall is cleared, the bomber kind of phases back to a secondary role. Yeah, they'll continue to take out walls, and that's nice. It can be helpful. But for the main part, what they're going to end up doing is helping out on the cleanup or just dying. Now, here we go. This, this is going. Quinn Diesel has this one, and uh, this is the one I was talking about that I, I'm pretty sure it's a fully maxed base. I'd have to go back and actually look at each individual item and in structure in it, but it looks like it's maxed. Uh, another relatively boxed design, although the builder hall is a little off-center in this one, which is different for most box designs. Uh, as you see, Quinn Diesel goes through and opens up those walls. First, he clears out the buildings, then he lets, uh, lets loose with the giants. Barbarians continue to distract. Giants start to tank and take on heavy fire. Uh, in goes the tanks. They start taking out things behind the line of giants. And you've got kind of a, a, an angular approach on this as they come up from the... Well, as you're looking at it, it's, it's actually the right corner, but it'd be the bottom right corner of the base in a sense. And a little bit from that top left corner as well. And again, the offensive line just forms up and works its way right through the base. And at the end here, we've got what about 45 seconds left. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna finally lose the last of our cannon carts, but that doesn't matter because we've got the battle machine, and there's really nothing that's gonna mess with him. I mean that one cannon, but 
it doesn't got the juice to take him out of play. And by the time he gets there, he gets off at least one, if not two, of the uh, charges. Boom, down goes the cannon. He's still got just a fraction of life left, but plenty to get through those last uh, last storage, and he's done just like that. Another uh, another three play. Uh, Dorian comes back in this next one. Yeah, there it is. And this is another diamond base. Dorian comes in from the top of the base, again, uh, from the point most distant to the Builder Hall. And this base layout has two aprons with those those uh, fringe buildings, the junk buildings, I like to call them, on the other side of the deployment side. And you can see, I mean, he, he uses his his uh, Rage Barbarians to just kind of distract and, and keep the defenses busy until he can finally send in his bombers, which take out the first apron. In goes the cannon cars, which take out the second apron. Everything forms up the line and plows through the base. If I'm saying it a little much, it's because it's what it is. It's an offensive line. And once this line gets going, there's just no stopping it. It just goes right on through the base. And you can watch as he uses small groups of, of Rage Barbarians to kind of clear things along the way, especially you know any of the, the, the mines or the hidden defenses gets them popping up. And he works on the high HP buildings real early on with those Rage Barbarians before the cannons moved in, and they, they kind of finish it off. Um, the, the Boxer Giant, really, at Builder Hall 8, this Boxer Giant is just an absolute beast. He really is. He's just a beast. He, uh, at level 15, picks up 213 hit points for a total of 2,789, and the Power Punch grabs 60 points more. Oh, here we go. Another box base. This one's got, uh, Link in it. He approaches this one from the bottom again, the, um, the edge of the of the base furthest away from the builder hall and uh, we've got uh that other version of it where you've got two camps of rage barbarians in here i think this one's a little bit more complex than using the the boxer giants again you have to be really good with your rage barbarians to do it this way but he is i mean he, he walks right up through the middle of the base uh bombers come in from behind they take out the the first set of walls opening it up for the rage barbarians take out that little compartment while the, the Rage Barbarians and the Giants are working their way up through there, everything is distracted. The Bombers can work up and take out the next uh, wall. And again, it's the offensive line. It just walks right through the base. Anybody who's a football fan knows what I'm talking about. If you can set up a line that goes right through your opponent's defenses and just either pushes them back or, in this case, destroys them, uh, the, base is, the base is toast. And you'll see this in other games, other you know, tower defense games like this one, of course. But by the time it's all over with, there's just nothing left. You know, there was that one double cannon, and he's still got both a cannon cart, which can take things out over the walls, as well, of course, the, the battle machine. And I think the battle machine had like half life left at the end of this replay. So, I mean, that's just, that's just huge. And as boxer giants, like I was saying, once they hit level 16, you get more damage per second, more damage per attack, and that fourth unit and that fourth unit is what makes all the difference having four units is just huge for this because that's how you can get away with using two and one or one and two between the rage barbarians and the boxer giants this is another diamond base real popular real common it's got two aprons at the tops but this player puts his base in the middle of the game grid which opens it up for the attack to come in from really any angle and uh, here we can see that Otto chooses the top and he comes down from the top you see he's deploying way out away from the base to give all the troops the opportunity they need to work their way through and we have like I don't know 35 or 40 seconds of dead space at the beginning of this and I fast forwarded through it so we could get to the actual attack this attack only lasts about a minute and I don't know 15 seconds I think it was I mean we're, we're just about to 50% here and he's got 30 seconds left and boom, there it is. Yeah, 30, 32, 33 seconds left. 50% of the base destroyed and 50% of it left. But you can see there's just not a lot there. This attack works so well, it just goes right through the base like a hot knife through butter. And most of these bases, you've got lots and lots of level eight defenses. You saw the one before was completely maxed or I'm pretty sure it was completely maxed. And these are all, you know, players that are over 5,000 using these uh, level 16 troops. By now, hopefully everybody has at least two, if not three or four level 16 troops, depending upon what your original upgrade path was and, you know, how you decided you wanted to upgrade at Builder Hall 8. Either way, it, it works out. 
So that is my video on Big Bart. It's, uh, it's uh, giants and bombers and cannon carts and uh, barbarians. Uh, it's, it's a great, great, great attack. Special thanks to the guys down in Australia at Oz Builders for all the fantastic replays. I'll probably be catching up again with them here in the next few weeks to get some more replays too. On that note, I'm out of here. Thanks a lot for uh, sticking around to the end, guys. And I will catch you all later. Take care. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.